from sun, as the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Because plants use solar energy for photosynthesis. So, plants produce food, rabbits eat plants, rabbits are eaten by snakes, snakes are eaten by eagles and vultures. All the dead animals are decomposed by decomposers or the microorganisms and are again used by plants as nutrients from soil and carbon dioxide from the air. As decomposers also release carbon dioxide into the air when they are decomposing the dead remains. Here is another example of food chain. Algae, a green color aquatic plant, grows using the energy from sun. Algae is eaten as food by many small aquatic animals and fish, which are then eaten by bigger fish, and fish is hunted by humans for food. Again, the waste material from all animal and plants is decomposed by microorganisms as nutrients and carbon. Here is another food chain. It is from Tundra region. As we know, all food chains start from producers. So here too. First are very small plants called phytoplankton, which are eaten by krill. Krill is eaten by squids and fish. Squids and fish are eaten by emperor penguins. Emperor penguins are eaten by killer whales and leopard seals, and everywhere dead remains are decomposed by decomposers and are converted to nutrients for soil and carbon dioxide for air. So we learned so many examples of food chain and some terms like producers, consumers, decomposers. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!